Here we are in the month of Shvat. It seems that the world of nature has been on hold, experiencing a godly pause for the winter months. Children around the world sing Hashkedia Porachat, celebrating the first buds to blossom, those of the Shkedia, the almond tree. While we have several examples of the positive imagery of the Shaked in Tanakh, perhaps the most moving and relevant imagery of the almond comes from the root word Shaked being used as a verb and as a noun in the book of Yirmiyahu. In the first chapter of Yirmiyahu, the prophet has a vision of a branch of an almond tree, a makel shaked, as a sign of Hashem swiftly fulfilling his promises of upcoming exile and destruction. Almond trees blossom quickly or early in the season, and it's therefore a fitting imagery in this nevuah of imminent calamity by the watchful creator. Yet we have the same root of shaked again later in Yirmiyahu, associated with a nevuah of comfort and redemption. V'haya kasher shakadeti alehem. And it shall be as I have made efforts for them to speedily uproot, break down, demolish, destroy, and to afflict, so will I persevere to build and to plant, says Hashem. The Malbim expounds on the usage of the word shaked as a verb for both the breaking down and the building up, explaining that the uprooting is required in order to plant and their breaking down is an essential component in order to build. Amuna wisdom recognizes that we don't know how long a season will last, but we welcome each season, each season in our lives with open trusting arms. As we know from the book of Kohelet, to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to uproot. These messages in Kohelet are actually embedded in our understanding of the almond blossoms. When we grapple with Amuna questions, an inevitable part of the human condition, we are equipped with the song and imagery with which to answer ourselves. All that Hashem does is at the perfect time, every step of the way in our life journey, without exception. In truth, girded with Amuna, we can be confident that there actually aren't any godly pauses in this world, however much our observations might point to the contrary. Winter is a crucial part of spring, just as our suffering is a crucial part of celebration, and failure an essential ingredient to success. A person of faith walks with serenity, tranquil in the knowledge that no matter what period I'm going through, this is a season I'm meant to be in and God is watching over me. From seed to sapling, you are a tree, for a person is a tree of the field, and you're evolving into a more beautiful version of yourself, even though your colorful foliage may have left, and some of your external beauty seems dulled. Bare or blooming, you can proclaim, my branches reach out to kiss the heavens, and I know that this season I am in, this moment I am in, is blessed.